Hi guys, my name's Rick, and I'm going to be testing today the Callaway Bertha Mini 1.5. This is the Mini Driver, the Callaway's version of the Mini Driver. Um, looking forward to hitting it because it looks immense, looks awesome. It's got adjustability, so you can change the lofts, which I think has got a massive advantage for this type of club because you can make it strong if you want to use it off the tee. If you wanted to use it off the fairway as a fairway replacement, you can make it a little bit weaker. So I've got it in 12 degrees, but you can go one degree down to make it 11. You can go two degrees up to make it 14, which I think is just awesome. I'm going to test it on GC2, hit real balls, see how it flies, see how it uh, moves through the air. And then I might even change the loft to see what the advantages are of it as well. So it's the first time Callaway have brought a mini version out. And I know in other manufacturers it's been quite a popular model, been a popular a piece of equipment for a lot of players. Great for driver replacement if you struggle with driver. So if you if you find that you know what I just don't hit driver particularly well, but I hit the fairways wood well. Well, this is this is just perfect. It's that kind of it's a big chunky fairway wood. You know it has so many advantages to it. It's not super long, so it's not as long as a driver, but longer than the fairway wood. I've got this in the Kuru cage, extra stiff flex, um, <clears throat> and I'm looking forward to giving it a hit. I think the looks wise behind the ball, it's amazing. It's so. It's so polished, it's lovely looking. It's got the, the Callaway arrow at the top, helps with alignment. I still feel like the deeper face, personally for myself, of, uh, off the floor scares me a little bit with a deeper face. But it, you know, you don't have to use it off the floor. You could use it as a driver replacement, like I say. I'm gonna hit some off the floor anyway. I've got it in 12 degrees. And let's see how it flies using GC2. So, let's give it a hit. Like I say, it does look, it looks amazing. <laughs> I do love the look of it. Let's see how it flies. It's come out like an absolute bullet. That's an amazing Lynx golf shot. It's really come out firing all cylinders, really low ball flight, getting up there to nearly 260. And that was off the floor in 12 degrees, and that would be just superb for a windy condition, a windy day, Lynx golf, and you've just got a bullet one down there. Love that, love the flight. I felt like I probably hit it off the bottom groove, but I find that's quite easy to do with such a deep face wood off the floor. I said I probably would prefer it as off a little tee or in a bit more loft and we might try that in a moment. Let's go another couple in 12 degrees. Oh, it's just a flying machine. I hit that one better, hit that one much sweeter and it still has that really low penetrating ball flight. I mean, look at that for a, a, a wood off the floor and I'm getting near to 280 total distance, the wood off the floor. I can't get that with a three wood. That's impossible to get. I use a 15 degree three wood and all this. This is, this is a mega strong fairway wood, 12 degrees. But you know what? I can't particularly hit driver off the deck that well. With a big deep face driver, I don't feel like I can hit driver that well off the deck, off the floor. So this, this might be that kind of club. I still don't quite know where in a lot of players that this club would sit, but it, it's very individual. It can be a driver replacement. Absolutely, there's nothing wrong with that because it still will go a long way. But it can also be a fairway replacement if you want more distance with your fairway woods. Or you could have all of them. You could have driver, this, and fairway wood. I just think, think you might sacrifice the lower end of the spectrum. Let's go one more in 12 degrees off the floor. It's a little bit further left that time, but it's still an awesome hit. I still felt like I smoked that. I'm gonna go one more, actually. I felt like I hit that really well, nearly 290. Pulled it a little bit, granted, but felt amazing off the face. Now, like I say, when you actually look at it, for me, the ball doesn't look like it's going to fit in the sweet spot. You almost feel like you have to take a little bit of surface with it. Otherwise, if you hit it completely clean, you almost get it off the bottom groove like I did in that first shot and get quite a low flight. Let's go one more nice one with 12 degrees off the floor. Bullet. Absolute bullet. Not my straightest hit in the world, granted. But a really, you know, I love that ball flight. Really, really solid ball flight. So let's change the loft. So you can change this now. I say I've got it in 12 at the moment. I could go to 11. Or I'm going to go up to 14. And that's where I'm going to. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go up to 14. So let's say it was a driver replacement. You might, and you you are mostly going to hit off the tee. You might stick it in 11. It makes sense. Why would you not? So I'm going to go two degrees more loft. And it's just got the normal Callaway twisty bit, which isn't the most, I wouldn't say it's the most user-friendly. It's a lot of numbers and a lot of uh, 
letters, but I think once you, obviously I've got the chart over there as well, but I know in neutral, two degrees plus, it's gonna sit me in 14 degrees. Screws in, and I think that's, honestly, I think that's a huge, huge advantage for this club, that you can actually change the loft. I think that's massive. Because for me, if you can change the loft of this golf club, it really does become much more versatile to individual players. You know, it becomes a lot more a, a, a different a different club. And you might even use it for different circumstances. You might wake up and go on the golf course and go, you know what, it's a really tight golf course and it's a really windy day. Well, I'm going to leave my driver at home or in the car. I'm going to take out my Mini, stick it in 11 degrees, and you've got that slightly more accurate driving club. Or you might go, you know what, today I'm going to be playing a lot of par fives or a lot of par long par fours and I need something that's going to be able to hit it well off the deck going into these holes. You can crank it up to 14 degrees or 13 degrees or 12 degrees and be able to fill a gap that you might be missing with a regular three wood. I think it's a bit more versatile. I'm going to change the colour on, uh, on the sim. So I've just changed the colour now on the sim to, to a red colour for, to dictate the 14 degrees of loft. For me now, straight away, it just looks so much more appealing. It actually now looks like more of a chunky three wood rather than a, and a, and a small driver off the deck. It actually looks like I can see the face. I can see the face and that helps. Visually, that really helps. feels like I can actually get this flying up in the air a little bit better this time. Still quite deep, obviously, it's still, still the same dynamic, diameter in the head but it just looks like it's a bit more friendly. And it is just that, look at the loft change. So that felt to me so much more friendly to hit. And it's still done well on distance. It's still done very, very well. You know, two six, that's still, it's closer to where I'd hit my three wood, but it's still longer. 14 degrees, it's still longer, but it felt just a little bit, a little bit nicer to hit. Certainly looks wise gives me a lot more confidence. So I might, you know, if I was to use this, I might go 11 degrees if I was hitting off a tee or 12 degrees if I was hitting it off a tee. But if I had to use it off the fairway, I think I'd want to keep the loft. So I think those are the decisions you've got to make when using this club. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the one. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I thought before it felt, you know, you're using, you basically, oh, look at the distance, wow. You know, it is, it's just a super charged fairway wood. It's just, just injected with so much power. It's longer than a regular fairway wood, but not as long as a driver. It's got a, you know, the hyper speed face cup as Callaway clubs have. But for me, it's that, that it has so much more versatility because you can change a loft. That's so valuable for this club. Sit one more in 14 degrees. I love that. So let's see how much more consistent they've become. Because I've added more loft, I can become a little bit more, my dispersion becomes tighter. I'm not actually losing that much distance. Right, one last test. I'm now going to crank it down to 11 degrees, stick it on a little tee and see how it performs off a tee. So it's almost more like a driver. So see if it actually performs closer to a driver, distance-wise, etc. when I stick it down to 11 degrees. Let's stay tuned for that. We'll see how it performs as a, as a proper mini driver. <laughs> right, so it's cranked down to 11 now, 11 degrees. I just, I, do I love that fact that you can change the loft of it. I just think that's such an important factor for this club, I really do. Now, now off the deck, that would scare me. 11 degrees would scare me a little bit. Now, some golfers might be able to hit that still. You know, you out there might be able to still hit 11 degrees off the floor and you're better than me if you can. But I think now 11 degrees off a little T is a perfect driver replacement. And I think that's how it, it's so much, it differs from other drive, from mini drivers. I've got a white line that's going to pop up on screen now. Very small T. I feel very confident with this. Okay, so that's down there. I'm going to show you something that's quite interesting on that. That wasn't the best hit in the world. And I want to show you the data on that, because that wasn't, I'll be dead honest with you, that wasn't the best hit. Let me show you just where, where I hit on the face. So I've hit very low and off the bottom, okay? So just remember that, very low and off the bottom. And it's still got there, there about 260. That was not a good hit. It wasn't a good hit. I feel like if I did that with a, a proper driver, I'd have been punished more for that. 
I felt like I was going to look up and that ball was way further to the right and it actually wasn't that far off line. For me, it wouldn't have got the distance, but it would have still hit the fairway. And I think that's what's mega important. Let's try and get a proper strike this time. Let's get a proper hit. Oh, again, just off the bottom. Let's see how it performs, even though it's just off the bottom. I might have to go for a slightly higher tee. See so what it's still done. Amazing off a bad strike. I promise you, both of those two were poor strikes, and they've done still amazing. All right, I'll try one more off this tee, and I might just have to go a tiny bit higher on the tee, just in this 11 degree setting. But I think I can get it. I think I can get it there if I get a good strike on this. That's closer. That could be very good. But look how, look how accurate those shots were. Now for a driver, if I honestly felt like I hit that wrong, that would have been punished. I do, honestly. I'm gonna go slight, I'm gonna go slightly higher T. Right, so I've gone slightly higher T. I certainly think with my kind of attack angle, I prefer that T a little bit higher if I hit up on the ball. Let's now see what it's like off that slightly higher tee. I feel like if I can strike one of these, it's gonna be really impressive. Like that. Like that golf shot. That was much more in the middle of the face. Wow, that was much more in the middle of the face. So I just needed to slightly adjust the, the tee height and it's nearly got to 300 yards total distance with a, with a, a supercharged fairway wood. In 11 degrees, mini driver. Let's go one more. More on the toe. It's a little bit turny, but it's still finding the fairway. It's still finding it down there. And again, I feel like off a, off a regular driver, that would have been punished more. Now, the reason why I keep calling it a supercharged fairway, because actually on the Callaway's website, it's in the fairway section, which surprised me. I thought it was going to be much more in the driver se section. But they're kind of categorising it as a fairway wood. It's in their fairway wood setting. Right, last shot. 11 degrees off the floor, off the tee, sorry. Beautiful, beautiful. It's got so much versatility to it. Nice grouping there in the middle when I've got it. When I've got it flying well, there's really nice grouping in the middle. I feel that club is incredibly consistent. A couple of shots right and left, that's, that's me. You know, most of them, look at the screen there, most of them are in the fairway. Most of them are down there in the fairway. From hitting it off, a de off the deck in 12 degrees, to hitting it off the floor on 14 degrees, to then hitting it off a tee that I probably just needed a little bit higher, to nearly knock on the door of 300 yards. That's quite amazing. It's quite amazing for such, for one club to have that much versatility. To be able to change the loft from 11 all the way up to 14 degrees. I think it comes in other loft settings as well. Very, very impressed. I do think this has a market, without question, for players who struggle with driver, who want to get, who are good with fairway woods but want more distance, bang, this is your club. For guys who play long golf courses, who want to be able to hit uh, long fairway shots into greens into par fives, par fours, bang, this is your club. And also, the golfer who plays at a really tight golf course, really tight, and wants to play something off the tee that's gonna give you a little bit more safety. This is it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. This is the Callaway Bertha Mini 1.5. Loads of options you can do with this club. I think it's got so many different options. I will be trialing it in my bag without question, so check me out on Facebook and Twitter for that. Uh, because I will be putting in my bag at some point to give it a go, see how it performs. Subscribe as always, become a free subscriber by clicking the link down here below. It's completely free to do. All it does, it keeps us in connection together. Comment down below, let me know what you think of the Callaway Bertha 1.5 Mini. We shall see you soon next time. Thanks for watching.